me the game authentic. authentic. Everything I said, I meant it. I meant it. Laughing to the bank, I'm grinning. Yeah. My partner do the same. We twinning. We twinning. I don't take L's, I'm winning. Yeah. Smoking big L's, I'm chilling. Yeah. We don't take L's, pay attention, little nigga. We just learn from a big business. Frozen gang, dang. It's a frozen gang, dang. It's a frozen gang, dang. Real nigga campaign. Hey. It's a frozen gang, dang. Gang. Frozen gang, dang. Gang. Frozen gang, dang. Yeah. Double up. Gang. Uh, my name is Dwayne Carter. I'm a co-founder of the Frozen Founders. I'm Dylan Alfasia. I'm also co-founder of the Frozen Founders. This business started year 2014, I believe it was. Mm -hmm. I mean, it was. It's a multifaceted organization built around helping artists and entrepreneurs here in Anchorage, Alaska. We have a recording studio which is downstairs, which we record. We have house engineers, mix and master, a couple of house producers bunch of different artists, but we provide the service of recording, mixing, and mastering, and sometimes helping them market and push their music. I like you, that's too bad, like Michael. You look good beside me, next party, invite you, your girlfriends, cause slide you. Yeah, you know it ain't no thing. Gang all here. We can do this every weekend. I said, ooh, girl, fuck with me. Side bank X is obsolete. Some of this stuff is something I always wanted to do. Uh, I always wanted to do clothes and make music. You know, we've been doing this since back in the day, like making music, making clothes. We've always talked about this when we were in high school. Um, like when we started at the stash. Yeah. Back in the day, making clothes and making music down in the basement. And then we came back, and there's really no resource for doing this type of thing, so we figured that we'd become a resource. Definitely. At first, we weren't really doing events as much. Like, it was more about the business and building the brand, networking and working with a lot of different artists. But then we started getting into doing events to further promote and, and build exposure for different people here. The scene wasn't as big as it is now, and it's steady growing and getting bigger. You know, to provide more of an opportunity for people to be able to perform in front of people and get the stuff out here more. Well, it's it's the Frozen Founders, you know what I'm saying, was the business, how it started, and then as it progressed and we started doing more shows and and we started rapping and we started promoting ourselves as the artists and stuff. Mm -hmm. It kind of, kind of turned into like, cause I don't know, we kind of just turned into a label with a collective of artists here. And so they started calling us Frozen Gang, basically like we the gang yeah. or the Frozen Founders. And so now, how many people? You say seven, six? How well, many? Because it? it like extends to <laughs> yeah. everybody that we know through like over time. Everybody that, everybody that we met, like Duck and his team, Bad Boy Nation. We got VLS with Scooty and them. Scooty, yeah. And I don't know, like we're all a part of it. But it's like it's like a movement more so. Yeah, it's kind of hard. People always ask us who's all in it. I mean, we made the Frozen Gang video. I mean, you yeah. can count those people, but. But anywhere we go, like when we're on stage, we have everybody out there. Like Duck will be in the house, Boots will be in the house. Yeah, like everybody, everyone's on stage with us. So it's like a whole. Like that's why I feel like it's a gang thing. Like everybody is a gang. Uh, being young, for sure, and like not having that knowledge and not having like we don't necessarily have a mentor that we can go to for questions and stuff. So go, going through it, we had to basically hop all these obstacles ourselves and really figure it out for ourselves. We didn't have somebody teaching us like, oh, don't do this, don't do that. So probably just going through trial and error on our own. Yeah, building up a scene here. I mean, when there's not a lot, I mean, our population isn't that great. And so when there's not a lot of exposure and opportunities for young artists and entrepreneurs out here to do more, then, I mean, it was hard to get it started. I mean, we had to create these different avenues and and opportunities for ourselves first and then it was then we were able to like give it to other people and offer it up as a, a service yeah even like start like you said starting throwing shows like you know throwing a show in my life mm -hmm. but i know what i would want to go to so basically 
even uh, how we form this. Like I know like the experience I want when I come in here as a support studio. So basically off of my own wants and needs, that's how we formed like the business. Yeah, there was a lot of obstacles. Like you said, not having no mentor, we had to teach ourselves everything from Photoshop, Illustrator, Final Cut, like, and we literally took the time and sacrificed and paid for to learn how to use these different programs yeah. or screen printing, doing yeah. the screen printing machine. That took forever to, to Making learn. Making decals. Even now we know how to record ourselves from over the years. We didn't have no engineer, like minimally, but we still know how to record ourselves and just trying to upgrade all that, all the services and stuff. We had to do all that ourselves. Probably the events. <laughs> I never thought, like even the first event that we threw, it was a smaller event. Uh, we had over like 20 artists perform, all local, all locally. It was down at a ACW when they had that warehouse, mm -hmm. packed it out. It was all love, like it was good supportive stuff. That's all we're all about. And then we threw the Halloween one, and we set the doors open at nine, and it was around the block. We threw it at the castle. It was literally around the block. Like I would have never expected. Like we walk out there, and kids are already just lined up all the way to Ace Oasis. So that was pretty nuts. And then to try and keep it going, like we got invited out to do some shows, like open up for some people. Like Keiko got to open up for Nas and he got to perform. Yeah. That was pretty big, cause I mean, it's Nas. So, and then we got, we all got to perform for Freddie Gibbs, which was big. Yeah. But I think throwing our own events is probably the best, like the biggest highlight that we've done. Yeah. And then the response from our music, yeah, definitely. Us dropping these last couple projects we released, that definitely feels good because we weren't releasing music for the longest time. But I don't know, it's easy to say like our biggest accomplishment, like when we get money, when we do shows, like that's a big, huge accomplishment. That was bigger than what I had expected it to be, bigger than all the projections and stuff. Well, for Frozen Founders of Business, I would love to keep expanding and doing more with the youth, creating different programs and stuff mentoring people because I wish I would have had somebody to show me how to be an entrepreneur I'm still just learning all this stuff on the fly and on my own time and dollars but that would have been cool and I want to definitely extend the knowledge I gained over the years now back to different people um, as far as our music we're going to start traveling this year I want to really branch out and start doing shows other places and, and doing music and collabing with different people. Through traveling and stuff, hopefully we can get um, more eyes and ears on Alaska as a whole, because there's so many people up here and that's why we first did it anyways, to like get everybody more exposure up here. So hopefully through some of these moves and networking that we come in contact with some people and everybody gets to see what Alaska has to offer. Um, Frozen Founders, we have the recording studio, we do merch, and we do <laughs> events. <laughs> <laughs> clothes and merchant events. You can come get your clothes made. You can sell your clothes here. Um, if you make local art, you can sell your art here. You can get your music made here, mix and mastered. We used to do videos. We don't really do videos uh, no, anymore. About, that's what I was about to say. It's like, what do we do now? We don't really like, do we, videos anymore. We do a lot, though. We make cover art for people. We, we can do pretty much anything here. Yeah, it's like a one-stop shop. Yeah. Internet. All social media, <laughs> at Frozen Founders. Or Twitter, come Facebook, downtown. yeah. Oh, 529 West 3rd. Slide on down. You're yeah, going to see the window the with the set of garden on it. <laughs>